Hello friends, this is Dave Hurwitz, Executive Editor at ClassicsToday.com. There, ClassicsToday.com. Here with a review of a wonderful disc on Dutton. Dutton, Dutton's what they call it label here, Epic. And it is epochal. It is orchestral music by Cecile Chaminade. Her symphonic ballet, Ballet Symphonique. Callier Hoey, Callier Hoey. Kelly or Hoey, I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't care. And her concert stuck for piano and orchestra, ably performed by Victor San Giorgio. It's with the BBC Concert Orchestra under Martin Yates, as with many of these, these Dutton epic productions. Very, very well recorded, I might add. Beautiful sonically. Now, Carol Ho, or Kelly or Ho, or whatever her name is, um, you know, let's see, was written in 1888. So was the this thing the concert stuck for piano and orchestra. In fact, 1888 was a great year for Chaminade because that's when a lot of her orchestral music was written. After that, um, you, you know, she had some personal issues with her family and she had to make a living and support them. So she started writing, you know, boatloads of the salon music, the small piano pieces for which she is now best known. But boy, was she a good composer. She really knew what she was doing. What were her dates? 1857 to 1944. Yeah, Callier Ho is Opus 37, and the Concert Stuck is Opus 40. And, you know, I have sort of this, this, this allergy to strange diacritical remark, you know, marks on titles. See, here's, see Callier Ho, uh, there's an umlaut over the E. I mean, what does that do? I, I don't know. Okay, so, so it's a ballet, and the ballet has this really kind of muddled plot. The story is is that Kalier Ho uh, is a princess and she's very cold and she, 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 this guy's in love with her and it's, it's in ancient Greece or somewhere like that and the goddess Venus wants her to fall in love but she doesn't want to fall in love so she takes a header into a fountain and she gets transformed into a statue much to the distress of her would-be suitor but Venus changes her back and then they fall in love and it makes no sense whatsoever. And it makes no difference because it's a ballet anyway. And nothing that happens in ballet makes any sense. It's even worse than opera because you can't talk. You can only, you know, do this, you know, you gesture and, you know, and you're supposed to figure out what they're feeling and what it means. So I wouldn't worry about it. The music is lovely. Absolutely lovely. I mean, it's 1888. You think about it. It's it's fully modern, late romantic French ballet stuff. Like if you like Massenet or Delib, or it's actually a little bit more advanced than Delib. Very sensitively scored, I must say. And it has it has a storm, and it has an Oriental dance and a pastoral. You know, all the usual ballet stuff. That's just terrific. And the performance is marvelous. Now there's a suite. She made a suite, Shamana did. Um, and that suite was in that box that I just I just reviewed, you know, Compositrice, all those French lady composers. And it's been recorded um, some other times too. But the complete ballet, that's what you gotta hear. It's a big juicy sucker. And I, I just think it's, it's, it's lovely to have. The other thing here is the concert stuck, which is marvelous. Oh my, this is wonderful. Unfortunately, it's only 15 minutes and a bit long, which means it never gets played because it's too short. I mean, some enterprising pianist, here we go. This is my rant, I've said it before, should find a couple of these short works for piano and orchestra, stick them together on a program and just do them and do a half an hour worth of piano and orchestra stuff with some short pieces. I mean, take something popular. You could do Liszt's Totentons, which also never gets played because it's too short, and mix it with this, and you've got a concerto. I mean, you've got a concerto-length program or, or you know, that, that block scherzo fantastique or whatever that thing is called for piano orchestra. It's like 10 minutes long or one of the Sasson short pieces or one of Schumann's short pieces even. You know, I mean, they're, 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 or Mendelssohn. I mean, there's just wonderful, wonderful pieces. Concert Stuckchen or Stucke, or whatever you pluralize them in German. They're wonderful. And we don't get to hear them live. They only show up on discs like this as fillers because we always need more fillers. But I, I just think it's a, it's a crime. And when you hear this, you're going to say, oh, wow, that's fun. I mean, it's got sort of this vaguely exotic 
atmosphere to it. It has lots of little sections and they're all incredibly colorful. The piano writing is brilliant. And Shamanad played this herself. I mean, she was a really able, able composer. And this is the best of her. I mean, it shows her, you know, at her, am, her ambitions um, untethered, um, which is a good thing because after that she had other issues to deal with, as I said. And so I am so happy that this is here. I think it's wonderful that Dutton released it and you should hear it too. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care. <laughs>